He is known for being an American writer who won the National Book Award for his novel The Man with the Golden Arm. He articulated the world of marginalized individuals, including drunks, pimps, prostitutes, and corrupt politicians. Recognized as one of the best-known literary writers in America, his name is Nelson Algren. In the realm of American literature, there is one name that stands out, Nelson Algren, a writer whose stories captured the gritty realities of life. His influential novel, The Man with the Golden Arm, published in 1949, not only won the National Book Award but was also adapted into a film in 1955. Algren's writing delved into the world of marginalized individuals, chronicling the lives of drunks, pimps, prostitutes, and corrupt politicians. One particular poem written by Algren resonated deeply with him. It was about a legless man on wheels, providing a unique perspective on life. This piece, which Algren considered to be the key to all his work, expressed the protagonist's readiness to wrestle with death, despite the challenges he faced. This poem showcased Algren's ability to capture the raw emotions and struggles of his characters. During the late 1940s and early 1950s, Algren gained widespread recognition as one of the most prominent literary writers in America. He became the lover of renowned French writer Simone de Beauvoir and was featured in her novel, The Mandarins. This book, set in Paris and Chicago, portrayed Algren as a bard of the down and outers. His collection of short stories titled The Neon Wilderness and his novel A Walk on the Wild Side further reinforced this reputation. The latter was later adapted into a film in 1962, further cementing Algren's place in literary and cinematic history. In 1947, Nelson Algren published his first short story collection, The Neon Wilderness, which consisted of 24 stories written between 1933 and 1947. The collection received critical acclaim and garnered Algren an award from the American Academy of Arts and Letters, as well as a grant from Chicago's Newbery Library. During that same year, Algren embarked on a passionate affair with Simone de Beauvoir. Mary Guggenheim, Algren's former lover, suggested that de Beauvoir visit Algren in Chicago. The couple spent their summers together in Algren's cottage in Miller Beach, Indiana, and even traveled to Latin America in 1949. In her novel, The Mandarins, de Beauvoir wrote of Algren and their relationship. However, over time, Algren and de Beauvoir grew disillusioned with each other, leading to bitterness. In a Playboy magazine article, Algren harshly criticized de Beauvoir and Jean-Paul Sartre, comparing them to users who exploited others for their own gain. Algren's next novel, The Man with the Golden Arm, became his most renowned work, winning the National Book Award for Fiction in 1950. The story follows Frankie Machine, an aspiring drummer who becomes ensnared in the seedy underbelly of Chicago as a dealer in illegal card games. Frankie finds himself trapped in a world of addiction after developing a morphine habit during his time in the military. Complicating matters, he mistakenly believes that his wife became crippled in a car accident he caused. Following the success of The Man with the Golden Arm, Algren released another book titled Chicago, City on the Make. This scathing essay stirred controversy among the city's boosters as it exposed the corruption, poverty, and deceit that lurked in Chicago's back alleys. Despite these unflinching criticisms, Algren professed his love for the city, describing it as a lovely so real. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.